Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Victoria Garrick, and today I will be giving you four tips on how to mindfully eat when you're stuck at home. Now this is something that a lot of us are probably struggling with right now. If you are locked in a house, lock in your kitchen, lock the people who stress you out, or you're in different situations. We have food around us all the time, and as someone who used to be a disordered eater and has had body image issues, this can be triggering and this can be really disruptive to the way I'm used to eating and navigating food. If you're not familiar with my story, I struggled with a binge eating disorder, and I just did a video on that, so if you're interested in watching it, you can check that out. And today I'm going to be using my experience with emotional eating as well as my recovery with intuitive and mindful eating to share with you four easy tips to get you thinking about how you're approaching food during this time and how to maybe continue or develop a healthy relationship in the current environment we're in. I want to also say quickly before the video starts, it is really a time to think back and be really grateful for what you have. There's a lot of people out there who are really struggling financially, a lot of people who don't have the luxury or the privilege to think about what they want to eat. Going into this video, I just want everyone to be really grateful if they're in a position where they can ask themselves these questions. So I just did want to acknowledge that. I hope that these tips help you. I hope that you follow along and let's get started. The first thing I want to make sure you do is have emotional awareness so I want you to be aware of how you are feeling when you decide to eat there's a variety of emotions that we're always feeling at all times however we like to say good or bad and we don't really dive deeper so I want you to dive deeper and understand how you feel because how you're feeling plays a huge part in how you choose to eat the current situation we're in is definitely scary. It's anxiety inducing, it is sad. A lot of people in various ways to different extremes have been affected. So it's probably a given that you're feeling some of these emotions that are anger and fear and sadness and worry and panic. And then some of you also might be feeling optimism, you might be feeling hope, you might be feeling thankful or grateful for whatever situation you're in. So take a second to think about all those emotions I just listed, here are some more emotions, and ask yourself, okay, which ones resonate with me? Which ones are how I feel? There could be four or five. I would stick with five. You could just have two emotions. I would do, don't do more than five just because it will probably feel overwhelming. Choose your main five and just be aware of that. A lot of times we just act and we say things and we do things and we eat and we don't really know how we're feeling. So the first thing I want you to do is just be aware of the main emotions you're experiencing. And if you can write this down on a journal or on your phone notes page and just say, today I feel and list those emotions, that would be awesome too. I think journaling all of these tips will be really helpful for you. The second tip is to uncover the why. So why are you wanting food? Why do you want food right now? If it is not because you are hungry, if the answer is not because I feel hungry, I feel low on energy and I need, I need food and I need fuel, the chances are if you have the urge or the inkling to eat, it is for an emotional reason. You want to fulfill something or you want to cope with something. That's how it's been in my experience. So think back on the last time you emotionally ate and you know it wasn't really what you wanted and you didn't feel good after and you weren't really hungry. Or maybe right now, right now you have the urge to binge and you have the urge to eat food and that's why you're watching this video. Whenever that time was, I want you to think about it and I want you to think about why. What is the reason that you sought out food? Maybe you've just been watching the news and it's causing you to be anxious and stressed and scared. And so you wanna eat food because that makes you feel safe and you're in control when you eat. Maybe you wanna eat food because the person you love hasn't reached out to you and has been blowing you off and you're feeling rejected and you're feeling like you have been turned away by someone you really care about. So you want food and you just wanna eat right now to feel comforted. There are a variety of reasons why we would want food other than being hungry. For me recently, it's purely been boredom and wanting the taste, but I want you to just think about why. What is your why? That's the second thing. And I will say just being aware of your emotions and understanding why you want to eat is amazing. That is a huge step in this journey that you should be really proud that you're even taking the steps to figure those things out because a lot of people, they just eat, they just cry, they yell at their family members, they get upset and they eat and they don't eat and they do things and they don't know why and they don't like it, but they never spend the time looking inside and figuring out why that is. So if you're here really doing this work right now, I just want to say that that's awesome and you don't need the answers. You don't need to be perfect. You just need to be trying. And I'm really glad that you're trying Just trust me. I know how hard that is. Now we're moving on to our third tip and our third tip is to be mindful. 
So, you've understood your emotions and how you're feeling. You know why you want to go eat. So now I want you to be mindful. And a lot of us don't really mindfully eat. We eat with other people around us who are talking. We eat in our cars. We eat walking around from class to class. We eat watching TV or we eat doing things and we're just having a motion of hand to mouth and we're not even paying attention to how that tastes, how we feel or what we're actually doing. So I want you at least for today or for your first try to be really mindful while you eat. And this includes all stages of eating. So this includes when you choose what you want to eat while you are eating that thing and then after you're eating. You're being mindful during all three stages. So the first thing is to be really mindful about what you want to eat. Right now, we might not have a lot of options. You can't go to the store, you might be saving money, you might only have the food in your pantry. We have different situations happening to all of us, but look at what your options are, what you have maybe in your pantry or what you can have, whatever is accessible to you and think about what food is going to satisfy you. Ask yourself, do I want something cold? Do I want something warm? Do I want something crunchy? Do I want it to be something I can eat easily? Do I want it to be harder? Do I want multiple flavors in the food or do I just want one flavor? Whatever it is, figure that out. What's gonna satisfy you? What food is gonna fulfill the craving that you have? Um, and see what's possible for you with you know what you have in your pantry or what food you have available to you. Now, once you choose the food, I want you to give all of your attention to that food. I want you to put your phone away. I want you to turn the TV off. I don't want you to eat this food in bed watching a show. I don't want you to eat this food while you're walking from room to room, checking on your siblings. I want you to be totally alone and give this food your full attention. Now, maybe you're in a situation where you can't really escape your family and it would be rude for you to eat alone, whatever it is, but you can at least sit down. The most important thing when eating is to sit down and be focused on the food. When we're standing and doing things, we're not as focused as if we're sitting and we have this one thing in front of us to eat. So I want you to eat this food slowly. Think about how does this taste? How does it feel while I'm eating it? Is this good? Is this what I was hoping it would be? Notice, are you getting more full? Am I feeling satisfied? Do I need water with the food? And just be really mindful of how you're feeling as you eat. Chew slowly. I am someone that I'm, I'm like, let's get it done. I'm type A, I'm like, we're here, here, here. We gotta move on, we gotta walk fast. Chew slowly. When I feel myself anxious or emotionally eating, I force myself to chew slower. Really slow, choose to feel the food and taste the food. Take a deep breath in between each bite. Maybe sometimes we're continuous, right? We do, we do this with a bag of chips or we eat the burger. Take a bite, put it down, Put your hands here and enjoy the bite and chew. Just really get in touch with the food. I promise this stuff is so helpful when you do it. And while you're eating, just keep noticing how you're feeling and then really notice when you wanna stop, when you're full. And one thing I'll say about this is, a lot of us have been told things like, finish your plate. You're so grateful to have this food. There's people all over the world that would kill to have the dinner you're having right now, so eat everything. And we're told that we are wasteful if we're not eating all the food on our plate. And we feel like we have to finish everything. I was someone that finished everything. Everything I ate was completed. I never left like half of a sandwich because I'm not, I couldn't do that. I'm like, who leaves half a sandwich? Who doesn't finish all the guacamole? Didn't make sense to me. However, as I was learning about intuitive eating and I read the book I talked about, I learned something. When you are full and your body says I'm full and you feel full, you're getting an alert that you no longer need fuel to, to do it, to perform. You don't, need, you don't need anything to give you energy, to make you feel less hungry. You have reached capacity, right? Let's imagine like we have a battery and you've, you're all the way charged. When we eat food on top of that, just to finish it, Technically, that food's not doing anything for us, right? My battery's charged, so this food is just waste. So if you know you are complete and you're satisfied, what's left on your plate can either be waste in your body or it can be waste in the trash. But the point is, it's already gonna be waste if you're fully charged and you don't need food anymore to be fueled. So when you look at your plate, don't tell yourself you're wasteful if you don't eat. You're actually already done. The food is waste no matter what. So would you rather have that waste 
be in your body and not be helping or fueling you? Or would you have that waste to be in the trash? So that's something that's really helped me to feel better about not finishing everything because, oh, hey, I am fully charged. I don't need anything else right now to eat. So the fourth and final thing I'm going to share with you is to reflect with compassion. So when you're done eating, I want you to ask yourself, okay, how did that feel for me? What did I learn? Ask yourself, did I, I feel good. That's exactly what I wanted. I feel really satisfied. I feel really energetic. I feel the way I wanted to feel after eating. I feel good. Or maybe you're like, I don't feel good about what I just ate. It was too cheesy or my stomach hurts now. I ate too much of it. I didn't stop. Ask yourself how you feel and assess what you learned. So I learned that that food actually doesn't make me feel good. I learned that when I eat more than I'm hungry for, I feel too, too stuffed. So ask yourself, how do I feel? What did I learn? That's the first thing you go over. The next thing you can ask yourself is how can I be better? I want you to do this with compassion. So the other day I talked about eating these sliders that were disgusting and I didn't like them, but I ate them. And when I was done, I thought to myself, I feel gross. I feel disgusting. It didn't taste good. It feels icky in my stomach. I could feel it around. And in that moment, I've eaten the food. It is in my body. It is there. It has happened. It is done. So all I can do now, if I want to move forward in a good, healthy way with a good mindset is say, okay, I learned that I don't like that food. It doesn't make me feel good. And what I can do better next time is be more aware of not choosing a food similar to that or be aware of how this made me feel. So next time I'll do something that won't make me feel this way. It is really important that you do all of this with compassion. A lot of the reasons we continue to have disordered eating habits is because we finish eating and then we come this judgment. Oh, I can't believe I just ate that slider. I can't believe it. I have to eat less tomorrow. I got to work out now. And you let all of those things come into your head. And so now you're, sh you feel ashamed and guilty and you're now going to be more judgmental about what you choose next. I need you to be compassionate and forgiving. I need your dialogue to be like this. Ooh, that did not feel good. I do not feel good with that food in my stomach. That was not the best choice. Next time I'm going to use this experience to make a better choice and make a choice that's going to make me feel good and be more aware of it in the future. Because all I can do right now is learn from the situation. So that fourth tip is to reflect on the whole eating experience with compassion. Well, those are the four tips. If we review, it is one, having emotional awareness two, uncovering the why, why are you having the urge to eat? Why do you want food? Three, being really mindful about our choices, how we feel during the eating process. And then four, reflecting and being really compassionate with ourselves about whatever just happened. So those things have been super helpful for me. I constantly have to revisit things. I really recommend that you journal in your phone, maybe for one full day of food, how I feel, why I want food, why I chose this food, how I felt eating it, and then journal out your reflection, your compassion. I believe you can do it. I know you can do it. I'm really grateful that you clicked on this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments if that this was helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed to my channel also, make sure you subscribe. I have videos every Monday and I would be so grateful if you would be a viewer. So thanks so much. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day.